Trump, DeSantis, and now a third contender from the Sunshine State, all seeking the GOP nomination. With all eyes on Florida, can Miami's mayor pull off the upset, or is he focused on a different prize? Welcome to Elizabeth Vargas Reports, earning your trust every night. The nation's political focus is squarely on Florida tonight, and it's not just Donald Trump making the headlines. The newest entrant to the GOP field is Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. He'll join me in a moment to discuss his vision for the country, but his family history and his political chops make him an intriguing addition to the ever-growing list of options for Republican voters. His competition is tough, especially from those that call California home. Former President Donald Trump still is polling well ahead of the rest of the field, and Governor Ron DeSantis is at 23 percent, with everybody else in low single digits. We start tonight with News Nation's Kelly Meyer, who has more on Mayor Suarez and his big speech last night announcing he's in. Kelly. Hey there, Elizabeth. Well, the 45-year-old is joining this growing list of GOP contenders who want to turn the page on what he calls a new generation of leadership. But first, he must take on two other candidates that call Florida home. It's a showdown in the Sunshine State. A total of three Republican candidates that call Florida home now running for president in 2024. It's time for a leader who can connect with segments of our country that Republicans have historically lost. The latest, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, a 45-year-old Cuban-American with an interest in cryptocurrency, accepting his own salary in Bitcoin. He's publicly clashed with both of the two current Florida frontrunners, former President Donald Trump and Governor Ron DeSantis. Suarez didn't vote for Trump in 2016 or 2020, though he said he would support him if he were the nominee in 2024, and he called his second indictment, quote, un-American. He was in the courtroom this week where former President Trump was arraigned in Miami. Trump visiting a famous Cuban restaurant after his appearance in court and reportedly not picking up the tab. Thank you, everybody. Suarez said he didn't vote for DeSantis in 2018, instead voting for his Democratic challenger, Andrew Gillum, and he's clashed with DeSantis over COVID protocols. DeSantis clashing not with his latest Republican challenger, but with California Governor Gavin Newsom, daring him to get into the 2024 race to challenge President Joe Biden. Stop pussyfooting around. Are you going to throw your hat in the ring and challenge uh, Joe? Are you going to get in and do it, or are you just going to sit on the sidelines and chirp? Biden said to kick off his first political rally of his campaign in Philadelphia this weekend, as Trump still maintains his hold over the GOP field. We will make America great again. It's going to happen. They are fighting us with every bit of their crooked blood. After his indictment, a majority of independent voters think Trump should drop out of the race, while more than 8 in 10 Republicans say he should stay in the game. Now, at least one Republican contender has spoken out about Trump being the eventual nominee. Former governor, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson has spoken out about these RNC requirements about supporting the eventual nominee. If it's potentially a convicted felon, he says, the RNC is saying that they have no plans to change their protocols as of right now. Yeah, and Kelly, these candidates are going to be fighting for every key demographic in Florida, which represents practically all of them, as well as across the country. Yeah, that's right. And we're looking in Florida around this Latino vote, especially this Cuban-American vote that in 2016, uh, Senator Marco Rubio was able to pick up. He's a Cuban-American of Cuban descent. Then in 2020, Trump got a majority of the Cuban-American vote. It's interesting to see if Mayor Suarez, also a Cuban-American, cuts into some of this uh, voting demographic and picks up some of that support that Trump now has. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to Click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.